Neutrality, network neutrality is a concept that has taken a lot of oxygen out of the debates, I think. But it really came in as a meme to fill a void that was left by what is referred to in, the, in some fields as the death of common carriage. So common carriage is a way that we used to think about and, and still do think about some transportation networks, which is about protecting the consumer from um, the person who owns the network discriminating against what can go, what, how the network can be used. It was very much a consumer protection measure. Most of us who use the internet nowadays know that there's generally what they call vertical integration between um, companies or parts of companies that own content over the pipe and parts of companies that own network. Why do ISPs want to get into the content business? Well, you can look at the financial data on content companies and transit companies, ISP, people that move bits around versus people that generate bits of a form or the other. Uh, and for the last 20, 30 years, it's been clear that the the higher margins are in the content. Now, all of these guys are competing in the public you know, markets, and so that matters. And so there's been enormous pressure on the ISPs to find lines of business, especially ones that they conveniently can provide effectively because they actually have networks that will improve their profit margins. Uh, so it's an obvious why the companies want to vertically integrate. Any company vertically integrate, meaning move up the stack from just moving packets around to also having an interest in the traffic that's being moved around. Now, for many years, we had regulation that prevented that sort of thing, and different countries are experimenting with different regulations that preventing from common carriage, structural separation, functional separation. But in the U.S., we're not doing that so much. We're just allowing there to be vertical integration and hoping that the competition in the ISPs will prevent consumer harm from discrimination against your competitors and ISP's competitors' traffic. Uh, and so the, one of the open questions is how, how well is that working? Is facilities-based competition effective or is it sort of coming to the, are we coming to the end of the era where facilities-based competition is an effective check on the market power of the, of the access providers, of the people that own the, the, the networks? And then an additional interesting point is even if you had competition, it is not, because arguably we do have some competition in access today. Like I have, an, I have a cable company and I have a DSL company or now even a fiber company that I can get internet access for. And it is not obvious to folks that that is solving the problem because these folks do not compete on, say, security. They do not compete on privacy. They do not compete on a lot of aspirations that users might have for the future of the internet. Rather than try to sort of return to a world of common carriage where you could separate those two things clearly and there was a carriage network and there was content that rode over the carriage network, they introduced, the folks introduced a new meme called network neutrality, which would be like, well, okay, you can own the network and you can also have an interest in the content that's on the network, but you have a responsibility not to discriminate against other people's content in favor of your content. That is, the network itself would be neutral. Why is that an incomplete concept? Because it's not at all clear how to enforce such a concept if you were going to try to regulate it. And really what this comes down to is how are the networks going to be regulated? Or indeed, if the market is going to regulate, if you don't actually need top-down regulation, how are the consumers or anybody else going to know that that goal of a neutral network is achieved? So you asked, why do we need to look at it more holistically? Well, for one thing, you don't want a fully neutral network. You don't want every packet to be sent to you that is sent across the network because some of these packets are malicious. Some of these packets are unsolicited. You don't want the packets. You could talk about, okay, just on the packets that I explicitly requested. But of course, you might click on something that explicitly requests some content and along with it comes some ads. Some of those ads might be malicious. So it's, there's really not a good way to cleanly say, this is what I mean by network neutrality. Just send me the good stuff, just the ones that I specifically asked for, and don't discriminate it against in favor of your other content. It's just very hard to do that with how, complica how complicated the internet and traffic and content models are today.